Hey guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. This is Anthony, and today is day nine on Royal Caribbean Explorer of the Seas. It's a sea day. It's the last full day on the cruise. Let's have some more fun. I'm from the city, the city is dead. I'm from the city, the city is dead. Got to watch all types of good basketball on this trip, which has been wonderful. Playing here, him, blow up the popsicle, draw two. Anything good? No, oh, that one Good. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you going to kill any of my characters with your Mickey and Hook? I think I'm going to kill somebody with him. No! Take your pick. Lilo. Okay. And who's Hook gonna kill? Lilo or Maleficent? Off return. Alright. So we've got four ink. Right, so quest Lilo for two. Then we're going to play the goat for one. Quest Merlin for three, bounce the goat back. So that was two, four, seven.
You didn't try it? Of course not. You're a grown man. I tried Rogaine. Did you try Rogaine, sir? No, you're a man. A little fun fact about Rogaine, doesn't really start working until it hits your back, your shoulders, <laughs> ends up in a pool in your butt. <laughs> right? Yeah, I got a butt mullet, sir. Any single ladies out there? Nope. I'm excited. This is the final night of the cruise. If you listen carefully, you can hear the teenagers breaking up. Babe, I live in Fort Myers, you live in Cape Coral. This is never gonna work. I love it. This is my first uh, Royal Cruise. This is my very first performance for Royal Caribbean. Give me a round of applause. Yes, I'm here. I've been doing cruises for about a year now. I love it. I get to travel the world. They pay me a little cash. My wife, she hates it. Not only because I'm gone all the time, but because I'm bringing home some really bad habits. I just leave plates everywhere. She's like, pick up the plate. I'm like, they'll get it. She's like, who's they, you idiot? Pick up your plate. 
I take advantage of all the amenities, all right? I go up to the spa. I went up to the spa the other day, and I, uh, I, the lady sat me down. She's a little Filipino lady with tiny hands. She goes, we have a couple of different options. Do you want a sweetest massage, or do you want a deep tissue massage? She said, I'm a grown man. I want a deep tissue massage. Did you know they can touch your heart through your back? <laughs> She hit something in my right butt cheek and I just forgave my parents for it. Then she brought out a bamboo stick and I woke up at a bus stop in St. Kitts. And she says to me, sir, she goes, I don't want to offend you, but I noticed that you have a very hairy back. She goes, would you like me to wax your back? And I said, does it hurt? And with a straight face, she goes, no. So I said, all right, let's do it. Let's wax my back. She goes, all right, flip over, and I get on my stomach. Now, here's what's deceiving about getting your back waxed. I'm in a spa. There's a waterfall. There are candles. There's beautiful music playing. And she put hot wax on half my back, and I go, you know what? That's a little hot, but that's okay. I don't know what you ladies are complaining about. And then she put a piece of paper on top of the wax, counted down from three, and then I met our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's like, it's not your time. I'm like, please don't send me back down there, Jesus. <laughs> so if you see me later with my shirt off and I got half my back waxed, you're gonna know why. <laughs> oh my God, it's the worst. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. Any Midwest <laughs> folks? Some Chicago people back there. How are you guys? Good. I got a huge family back in Chicago. 15 nieces and nephews, you guys. 15 nieces and nephews. My oldest brother's got five daughters. I said, how did you manage to have five girls? He said, I prayed that God would surround me with beautiful women, and this was his answer. <laughs> and I had to say that my brother represents the white trash side of our family. I think every family's got white trash, and if you don't, guess what? You're it. I was back home for Christmas. My youngest niece walks in the room. She's 18 months old. And she started staring me down like I owed her money. So finally, after a couple of minutes, I go, bro, I go, why is the baby staring at me like that? He goes, oh, he goes, that's her poop face. I go, what? He goes, yeah, she's taking a poop right now. I'm like, that is awesome. Why can't we do that? Can you imagine rolling into work next week? Like, hey, I need you to work overtime. You're just like, ah. You pooping? Yep. <laughs> I have a sister. My sister's got two children, and she's a very liberal parent. She doesn't believe in spanking, which is fine. That's a choice that all parents have to make. But she leaves me 30 pages of instructions on how to raise her children in the next 30 minutes. And one of the titles said discipline. It said if Zachary's bad, you put him in timeout. Now at the time, I had no idea what timeout was. I don't have kids of my own, so I called her up. I said, what's time out? She goes, if he's bad, you put Zachary in the corner for five minutes until he learns his lesson. And I was like, is the corner going to teach him the lesson? <laughs> He's like, you and I have very different definitions of time out. Because when I was growing up, time out was more like time out, Dad. I think you broke my nose. <laughs> All right, two more bites of broccoli, big guy. You got it. Because you didn't mess with your parents growing up. Am I right, older folks? You did not mess with your parents. I grew up in a prison. My mom was the warden, my dad the executioner. I got spanked five times my whole life, but they were all memorable experiences. My father's the toughest man I've ever known my whole life. He was a firefighter for 35 years. Another round of applause for all of our firefighters and our, our policemen out there. I come from three generations of firefighters, my grandfather, my father, and all of my brothers. And people always ask me, Ken, how come you're not a firefighter? It says, simple, fire is very hot. <laughs> and the smoke hurts my eyes. I don't even like to barbecue. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> Who wants cheese? <laughs> Apparently I'm gay when I barbecue. I just sound like that. It was... <laughs> it's one in the morning. It's pitch black outside, and I get in this van, and all the windows are tinted black. And even that little light in the ceiling's got tape over it. And finally, I raise my hand and go, excuse me, sir, why you put tape on the light? He looks at me, he goes, snipers, bro. 
And that was the end of the conversation. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Shout out to my mom who is a degenerate for winning two new careers. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you subscribe and come along for future videos. Until next video, guys, may God bless you and I hope you take it easy.